In this chapter, we're going to create composite images. A composite image is combining two or more images so that they blend together to look like an original image. First, we'll combine images to make an image that people will think was really photographed that way. Then, we'll create another composite image in the surrealistic style. The surrealistic style will give us an opportunity to get really creative and explore even more features of Photoshop. Let's get started. Our first composite image is going to use three different pictures, and you'll need to have those open before you begin. You can find those in the Chapter 4 folder. They are Seattle, Sailboat, and Clouds. As you can see, I already have mine open, and my Seattle image is my active document. We're going to take a look at these pictures before we get started so that you'll know exactly what we're planning to do. Let's click on our Window menu, and let's point to Arrange. Photoshop has some options here for us to be able to look at more than one open document at a time. Since we have three images open, let's choose three up horizontal. With that selection, you'll see now all three images are stacked horizontally, and each one has its own set of scroll bars so that we can quickly pan through the image. Let's go back up to Window, Arrange, 3 up vertical, and now you'll see it's just stacked the images vertically. And again, we have our scroll bars that we can pan through the images quickly. One more time, Window, Arrange, 3 up stacked. That one takes our active document, which in my case was Seattle, and it places that in the largest area on the left hand side. And then it takes my other two open documents and it stacks them together on the right in little small areas. And again, we can pan through our images by clicking on our scroll bars. What we're planning to do in our composite image is we're going to take the sailboat and we're going to remove its background and bring the sailboat over into the Seattle image. And we'll play with some of the coloring and the layout of the boat to make it look like the picture was actually taken with the sailboat sailing in front of the Seattle skyline. In addition, we're going to take the clouds from the cloud image and we're going to replace the sky in the Seattle picture. Let's go back up to Window. Let's point to Arrange. And if you choose Consolidate All to Tabs, it will take us back to our tab view. 